Yamo, you have this get together um, here in Cardiff with the uh, under 17s. What's the purpose? What, what, why have you got them together this this particular time? Well, it's uh, part of the structure that we've been putting in place for for the two years that I've been here, and uh, I think that um, this particular camp is is a typical uh, end of year camp, November December. We we're doing physical tests. And uh, we are going through each and every player individually, giving them individual feedback, what's been happening, and most importantly, what's going to happen after this. This is an uh, under-17 team camp, and we've got basically two age group players. The one that's just finished with, uh, with the development squad, which is run by the, the Football Trust, and, and uh, the other, other group who actually finished their first European qualification round. So we're preparing these two age groups, first of all, separately and also together to, to, for, for the future women under-17s and women under-19s. In terms of you know, the squad here yourself, you, Jane Ludlow is, is here as well, who's just um, announced her retirement from international football. I mean, is this the first rung on the coaching ladder for, uh, for, for Jane? How, how has she become involved? I think that... Um, um, Obviously, when when we when we've got a player player like Jane Ludlow with a, with with a enormous football experience and and excellent international football experience, uh, when when she decided that she's gonna gonna start coaching, then of course it is very important that we as the football association support her coaching career, particularly now when when she's starting, and uh, obviously from our point of view to to have Jane involved with our player development and, and with our youth national teams, she's going to be a, be, a, be a good resource in every respect. And I think it's a, it is very important that we, we support the, the players who are at the end of their career or during their career are, are considering to become coaches because the international players, they have the insight where the young players actually are going, and I think that's a that's a great advantage uh, for for uh, some someone who wants to wants to become a coach. Is this something that you're concentrating on at the moment in terms of the, the quality of coaches, the women coaches, the co coaches of the women's game that, that we have in, in Wales? Um, as part of the our our pro women's top football development project, which is which is accepted by the UFO, one of those uh, football development projects. And, and one important part of that is the, in, in general to work on the, the coaching on the women's game. And uh, another very important part is, is to involve women to football in different roles. And particularly at that aspect, we've, uh, we're, we've assembled, assembled or are assembling a female talent coaches group and Jane obviously is one of those those persons uh, who who is who is part of that group, and I, I think that um, that what what we can do as a football association to to give that support and give those pot uh, potential uh, future top coaches possibility to be involved with the international football, and as I said that uh, Jane fits the bill perfectly, and I I, th I think that. Uh, uh, it's going to benefit her massively for the future to be involved with that environment which she actually has, has been involved as a player, as a coach from the beginning. What will her, her future as a coach is going to include? It remains to be seen, but I, th I, I think it's only beneficial to be involved with the international football uh, at the early stages. In terms of um, Jane's come to the end of her international career um, two players have been in the news recently winning awards in the women's game um, that must mean quite a lot to, to someone like yourself in terms of what you're doing is in terms of the players is getting recognised outside of, of Wales as well because the, the, the two awards they've had have been quite high profile yeah I, I think that, uh, that uh, we, we have excellent players players in, in Wales. We've got excellent individuals and, and it's a great recognition for a small nation. 
and I'm really proud uh, proud the the recognition that Jessica Fislock and and Nikki Davis had, and and obviously Jane being there earlier. I think it is it is important that we also recognize that uh, it, it is a is, it is a important those players are the role models to our our youth top players, and it's great that all those three individuals they've all been involved with uh, with our youth national teams camp. Camps, and they are all considering in the future the, the, to become coaches. What's good in terms of someone like Jessica, that it's recognition from fellow players. That means more than anything, I would imagine, doesn't it, really? That your fellow players recognise the talent that you have and the consistent performances you've put in all year. I think uh, that that's spot on. You can't really get a higher higher recognition than from your fellow professionals. and and. and Everybody knows that uh, the Women's Super League in England is it is a good league. It's very tough league, very competitive league, and and get that recognition. I, I think that uh, we 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 can be very proud of Jessica, and and Jessica can be very proud of her her season, which gave her that uh, acknowledgement. In terms of what happened between Spain and Scotland recently, um, how do you feel about that? Looking back in the Scotland game at Parque Scalas now, still frustrated or thinking? We're not that far away. Is it is it a mixture of both feelings, Jan? It, it is mixture of, of both those feelings, and and um, immediately after the games, and the immediate couple of weeks after the games, it's, it was important that we 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 in a way to to get ourselves together, and and we look at the positive things that uh, we've uh, we've been able to achieve during the campaign, and and. And one of the most important things is that the progression and development and improvement that individual players have shown and the whole team has shown. And that's the, that's the platform that's going to carry us in the, in the future. But at the same token, and when, when, when I send some information and feedback to the players and the magnificent staff that's been working there with the team um, after the Scotland game, I also acknowledge the fact that uh, that game only showed that uh, we are close, but not yet there. So we so we need to work really hard and continue to work work hard and with the quality to take that next step. And I'm 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 confident that we're 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 going to do that because we've got these young senior players in in our senior team, and we've got these young individual youth national team players that are knocking the door. And the next opportunity is is the Netherlands at Holland, Holland away, isn't it? Before the end of the month for the senior for the senior uh, team. Yeah, it is. It is. It's. A, it, I've um, I've said it that uh, it, it's a team building time again. We are building a new team for the new campaign, and and I think it is a great opportunity for the for the players who have been there close to that team and and showed clearly potential and motivation and, and willingness to take the next step. Netherland game will be will be the start of the new preparation and very important in that respect that so that we can give the new players opportunity to be integrated to the to the senior team. Okay, thank you. That's okay. great. Thanks Pleasure. for